Hi, it's so good to be here celebrating the 2021 edition of the Loewe Foundation Craft Prize. I'm so pleased with the digital exhibition we have created and hope it will provide the opportunity for people all over the world to see the works and celebrate craft. I'd like to give a huge congratulations to all of the shortlist artists and to thank them for their understanding in this extraordinary circumstances. I'm thrilled to introduce Josh O'Connor, an extraordinary actor, close friend, and like me, a deep admirer of craft. Josh will now announce the winner and the special mentions of the 2021 edition of the Loewe Foundation Craft Prize. Over to you, Josh. Thank you so much, Duncan. I'm honored to be here as a long-standing admirer of the prize and all it does to celebrate and promote craft. The Loewe Foundation Craft Prize was launched to shine a new light on contemporary craftsmanship and celebrate excellence and innovation in craft globally. Craft is about tradition, but also about newness and creativity. The artists that we have here today are an amazing representation of this, and I urge you all to take the time to explore the works in the exhibition. The four previous editions of the Loewe Foundation Craft Prize have uncovered a deep well of talent and skill, vision and determination to innovate, as well as set new standards for the future of craft. This year is no exception, and with 30 finalists from six continents and 18 different countries, which is the most international to date. It's an honour for me to announce that Fang Lulin is the winner of the fourth edition of the Loewe Foundation Craft Prize. Fang Lulin's work, she, astonished the jury with its monumental scale and breathtaking skill. Made with cotton cloth, the work is influenced by the thousand-year-old sewing methods of the women of Bai minority in, in Yuhan province, China. The jury also chose two special mentions, both of whom are inspired by their local surroundings. David Corbelan from Chile with Dessert to Go To. The other special mention goes to Takayuki Sakayama from Japan for his work Choto, Listening to the Waves. Congratulations to the winners and all the finalists. Please do go and see all their work, which is now on display in the digital exhibition. Thank you.